I had decided to make myself a pair of router planes. I've wanted to for a while. So I went to the plans offered by Derek Cohen at InTheWoodShop.com, downloaded them, and put them onto a piece of pallet wood and walnut that I'm going to be using. So I just took the two pieces that I was going to use and stuck them in my wedge vise and trued up the faces. And then I started cutting out the complex curves with a coping saw. I had already tried this on the pallet wood. This is the walnut that I'm working on. I tried it on the pallet wood using a jigsaw because I couldn't at the time find my coping saw. And then when I went to get the work done on the walnut, I found the coping saw and discovered that my skills with the coping saw are sorely lacking. There's a lot of rough edges to that uh, cutting, and so I took a very cheap, improperly sharpened gouge, came from Harbor Freight, I believe, and tried to refine the edges a little bit. And then on the interior curves, which I had tried with the jigsaw and then with other implements before, I decided that I was going to auger out the holes, but my auger was dull beyond repair. It's a very old auger. Uh, I received it as a sort of an inheritance. So I just used it to mark the holes and then went to my uh, cordless drill and a half inch bit to drill out the shapes. I only drilled halfway through and then flipped the piece over and drilled the other half and there was still breakout, as you will see in just a moment. I also had to stabilize that piece of walnut with some epoxy because there were some checks and cracks. So there are the two pieces and you can see the pallet wood one, horrible, horrible job of cutting out the handles. So I decided to use a template with an actual circle on it to draw out what I needed to cut and then use the coping saw and a variety of other materials to get a better shape. It still wasn't as good as I'd wanted it but it's certainly better on the walnut than it is on the pallet wood. I had started building these with the intention of putting them up for the uh, tool make competitions, both with Mitch Peacock and with others on the web. But as it is now, these are going to be my learning experiences. And then I drilled out the centers with a hole saw. It just happened to be roughly about 45 millimeters, which is what the plans called for. And there are the two pieces, one in the uh, pallet wood and one in the walnut. Now, I had recorded video of this process before, but the little camera that I was using, I had zoomed in all the way, didn't know it, and so it looked like worse than an 8 millimeter movie. So I'm, I had to reconstruct this section. And it happened that I needed to refine the edge, the bevel on that pallet wood plane a little bit better. It's supposed to be 13 millimeters at the front and 25 at the back. So I kept on working it until I got a nice smooth curve down to 13 millimeters all the way around. Then I used a rasp to try to better refine and define the interior curves and get rid of saw marks and other vestiges of my ill-fated attempt to cut this out with a jigsaw. The pallet wood one was never very good. You can always tell it because it's got a hole right there near, the, uh, near that top edge. And then because of the need to stabilize the walnut, I ended up having to reverse 
the, the face that was going to be against the wood. Originally that was already planed smooth and flat. And then some checking that, had, uh, that I thought I had stabilized brought up a problem, and so I flipped it over to true up the bottom half of the edge. This was originally going to be one of the curved sides. Once I got this all trued up, then I was able to curve the front of the walnut so that it matches the plans and the pallet wood design. And here I'm using uh, round rasps, sandpaper wrapped around one of my bench dogs, and a variety of other means to smooth up the walnut. and get it to a more presentable profile. And I sanded on a little bit of a chamfer across the back to protect the edges. And then to get an idea of what it might look like when I'm finished with the project, took a little bit of tongue oil and uh, spread it across the back of the walnut darkens up nicely. Of course, that darkness is mitigated once the oil cures and dries, but uh, it shows up better on the walnut than it does on the pallet wood. The pallet wood barely showed any difference. And so there are the two pieces. All that's left now really is to find knobs around which I can better refine those handles and of course the cutters. And so until I find the cutters, that's all for now. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, comment on it, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my experiments. I have another one coming up very soon. And in the meantime, enjoy these previous videos that I have posted on other projects. And as always, thank you for watching.